Earlier this year, Reagan Smith won her first big title at the prestigious American Cup. Now this weekend, she could become national champion with her coach, one of the great Olympians, Kim Zemeskel. Now they're both on the short side. But that means when they dream big, they're really just seeing eye to eye. The gold medal's ready again. Those memories now already a year old. Let's start to make some new ones as NBCSN is proud to present the 2017 P&G Gymnastics Championships. We're at the home of the NHL's Anaheim Ducks, the Honda Center, on a gorgeous Southern California evening here in Anaheim. Now, the final five are not competing, but they are here. Simone Biles and Laurie Hernandez and our Andrea Joyce will be talking to them later on tonight. Their absence means there are some wide openings for these women on night one of the competition. Four rotations tonight, four on Saturday, add up all the scores, which all count, and then you have a na national champion and a very good idea who's going to represent the United States at the upcoming World Championships in Montreal. And we take you back to what happened in Rio de Janeiro. In this, you've done that, or side by side with me, Nasty Lucan, Tim Daggett, I'm Al Troutwig, and it's amazing. If you think about it, this group of women warming up behind us, almost their entire life, they have seen nothing on TV but American women winning medals. I'm really curious to see what kind of gymnasts that creates. Well, that truly creates a lot of inspiration. And when you're able to see somebody from your country, sometimes even from your gym, win Olympic gold, that is exactly what you want to do. And you're inspired and motivated to do the exact same thing. Okay, you know, it's a, hey, this is possible kind of thing. Now, Reagan Smith was the first name we came on the air with tonight. Is she good enough to say that this is her competition to lose? Absolutely. You know, she just barely missed out on making the most dominant gymnastics team in the history of the sport. She was so close to going to Rio. She is better than ever. She looks more prepared here than I have ever seen her before. Another name to look out for, though, Morgan Hurd. This girl is going to make you smile. She's got so many wonderful qualities, just a vivacious personality and it really shows in her gymnastics okay now Nasi, your dad is the national team coordinator now and he's the boss and you're talking about things he's doing and saying how do you go and about and balance that well you know for me my entire life was kind of that same balance because as my coach when we were in the gym he was just my coach when we went home he was just my dad and you know when I look out there on the floor and see him he is just the head coach but the only difference is you know, after we leave this arena, we might go have dinner together. <laughs> Don't tell him he's just your dad. <laughs> Warm-up coming to an end. Boy, there's a face, Tim and <laughs> Nasia. I mean, you're just not going to forget her. Yeah, she's fantastic. She's got so many tremendous qualities. She actually was adopted from China when she was only 11 months old. And I told her when I first got to meet her before the U.S. Challenge Classic this year, I said, you know, it's ironic because you have all of these qualities that the Chinese team is looking for. Not only are you elegant and graceful, but you're so powerful. They're going to be really mad when they see you at the World Championships. And not only is her gymnastics amazing too, but Tim, I think you mentioned at the top of the show, she's just has so much energy and when you talk to her her eyes just light up and she is just so excited to be able to be here finally a senior and have a real shot to not only make this world championship team this year but tokyo 2020. Now, by the way there was more than one reason that that group in rio was the final five it was the last of the marta caroli era but it was also the last time we think that five re representatives will be in the world championship on the women's side now that means in this particular case you have reagan smith let's say and morgan hurd let's say and maybe osama custer the real drama with riley is going to come later we'll talk about that later she has just had a really rough few months uh, injury after injury she pulled a calf muscle and then she had wrist problems while she was dealing with that she just rolled her ankle just walking around. And sometimes, Nasty, you get injured in another place because you're injured in another place. Exactly, and that's exactly what was happening. And, you know, she was hoping to 
while injured, spend time on the things that she could do, and then it turns out multiple injuries really set her back. You know, I had a chance to talk to coordinator Valeri Lukin earlier this morning about her, and, you know, he's so high on her. He says, we just need to catch a break. We need a little bit more time, and she has to have time to get healthy. Yeah, but you don't have dinner with him after the meet like Nasty does. <laughs> no, I don't. Very classical look on floor. Very expressive from the same gym as Lori Hernandez, and you'll see some of that in her dance. She has had some rough trainings, some rough competitions, but that right there, just about as good as I have ever seen her look. Maybe she was owed that. And you know, there are of course Simone Biles and Lori Hernandez, as you mentioned, Tim, from the same gym as Lori. And you have to think, as we talked about earlier, the generations that have come and these girls have watched and been inspired by them. And, and obviously Riley training in that same gym as Lori, definitely inspired by her Olympic success. You know, there's a new tradition in golf where all the, uh, Riley McCusker gets a 13.9. And that 1.3 in deductions on floor, that is actually an excellent execution score. Now back to Riley McCusker. Got off to a good start. We're in rotation two. I'd actually say that it was, it was a phenomenal start for her. She has decided to do an easier vault. She's capable of doing a double twist. She's only doing a full twist here. That's what I was told. But that was really great. Had good height in the air, beautiful body position, just like on every other event. But because she is still coming back from that injury, multiple injuries, really, she's not quite ready to do that more difficult vault, but she is training it. And again, just look at her body position in the air. Right from the vault, right here, you see her block up. Toes pointed, beautiful body position. And tries to spot that ground. And because it is a little bit of an easier vault for her, she just has a little bit more rotation than she typically would if she would have done the double full. But that was great. Another, another great event for Riley. Come on, Trin. Come on, Trin. Come on, Jay. Lockley kind of on the uh, uneven bars, 14.35. Pretty low deductions wise. Yeah, absolutely. That's the highest score so far. So she has that 15.5 start score. I didn't see what Reagan was awarded, but Reagan about a 16.2 when she does everything she's supposed to. And McCusker, 13.25 again. A low sort of score to start with, and so the deductions are... It is to be standing alongside these two again, Simone and Lori. You guys have been giggling and talking <laughs> like it's a high school reunion. You dominated this event the last four years. Some people are having Simone withdrawal. What's it like for you to be on the sidelines? I mean, we know you're an adrenaline junkie. Yes, I am. It's actually kind of weird for me, but it's okay. Like... 
to sit at one. I can't imagine being on the floor right now. <laughs> you can't imagine it? No. Well, you guys have both stepped away from the gym. Lori, both of you have had crazy years writing books, being Dancing with the Stars. What's the coolest thing you got to do this year? Uh, everything, really. It's really hard to pick one thing, but I'm so blessed to have so many opportunities and hopefully many more to come. Well, no one from the final five is here competing, but nobody has officially retired. You talked about going back into the gym later this year. Yeah. You're laughing about this. <laughs> yeah, because I actually started like two Fridays ago. Yeah. And? I'm weak. <laughs> But I'm coming back. Like, I'm just doing conditioning and basics right now, but... But look out, everybody. And, Lori, what about you? I mean, I have a feeling that, like, you call and say, well, I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. No, but, I mean, it's more just, again, taking your time and making sure that you don't come back too soon yeah. because then you could get injured. So we're just really taking our time right now. All right, well, I know a lot of folks would love to have some more memories with the two of you. you. Have fun this weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Al. <laughs> Wow, we should all be that happy. <laughs> but a little news there, no? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, she, she's she been saying that, though. She's been saying she's going to start getting back into the gym, doing a little bit. And she's doing it the right way. You don't, you don't want to just jump right into that. you got to get, you know, back into gymnastics shape, which is a pretty unique thing. Okay, so now let's check, on, check in on Reagan Smith on the always perilous balance beam. She started this rotation in third place and could easily jump to the top of the leaderboard because of this event. As I said, it was the event that really gave her an opportunity to be a part of that final five in, in Rio. She's always been tremendous on the balance beam. From start to finish, it is jam-packed. There is and, her coach. And her mentor. Yeah, and when you talk about this, you have to talk her coach and her mentor. Bella Caroli, obviously uh, a longtime staple in U.S. gymnastics. Of course, the original coach of Nadia Komenich as well. So we talked about it earlier today, a few of us, that you know, if you're a coach and you haven't really competed at a very high level like in an Olympics, there's only so much you can give an athlete. But if you can give them that coaching, and then you can get into the head games of what happens in an event like that, you might be able to give them that extra few percent. Well, because it really is, I always think that these gymnasts are always so physically prepared, but it's the ones that are more mentally prepared that can kind of come up to the challenge. Oh, and that was a little bit of a bobble right from the top. Not very typical for Reagan. Do a combination series right here. Nice. Same thing we saw from Morgan Heard that back with a full. Great. Oh boy. A little bit tentative. She's doing her more difficult dismount here. It's called a Patterson. Oh, nope, she opted to go with probably a very smart veteran-like decision. She was going to do the more challenging dismount, but already had some struggles and went with the double pipe. Couple jumpy, couple jumpy places. Okay, settle it down. Just a good one on the floor there. Yeah, and you hear Kim say, you know, settle down a little bit because she really did just seem a little off right from the top. But this looked great until the very end. She just goes a little bit past, has to make that adjustment with her knees. And here's that beautiful combination back, back handspring with a back layout. And this. This is kind of where it went a little strange. So she's just doing a split with a half turn and was just completely off. Yeah, right. Wow, landed on one foot. So that's a that's an amazing save. And you could see her shoulders, hips, everything was out of alignment right from the very start of that jump. Amazing she stayed on. She 
did seem a little uptight, didn't she, when she came off? Yeah, I mean, this routine right here, that's close. And Reagan Smith, you know, these scores, we're still trying to figure out exactly what they all mean. On vault of 14.5, five is okay. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, she escaped that right there because she had some flaws in that routine that I thought they were going to be a little bit more stringent on. Come on, Shania. And you know, this is obviously, it was disappointing for Morgan having that fall, but again, this is the first year into the new quad. She has a bright future ahead of her. And this doesn't mean nothing is being decided here tonight. Not a national title, not a world team. So she still has a chance. Well, her mind's not going to be a happy place with a 12.3. And remember, you cannot jump your body into the air, which she did not. We're still in the third rotation. That'll be the uneven bars for Riley McCusker, who's had a good night so far, Nasia, huh? She really has. And this event is, is pretty crucial for Riley. You know, struggled a little bit in training on a few different skills. But when she hits her routine, it is very good. And again, we have to remember, you know, she's coming back from multiple injuries, so probably not in the best competition form as she could be in a few weeks if she were to make that world championship team. I actually, actually, though, watched her this morning do the entire routine, and it was by far the best I have seen her look. Everything was darn near perfect. It all gets really challenging from here on out. Multiple releases in a row right here. And another one right here. And down to the low. So far, beautiful. Transition as a very unique dismount. Had troubles on this in training. There you go. That's the Riley McCusker that coach Maggie Haney has been waiting to see right there. There she is. Of course, the coach of Lori Hernandez and that dream team from Rio last summer. We can update some scores now. Morgan Hurd gets a 13.9 on vault. And that's disappointing. And Johnson Scharf a 13 on the balance beam. Okay, you'd have had a headline if we told you Reagan Smith was not the leader going into night two, but she is not leading right now to the floor. New routine for her, love this. Really playful, sassy. We talk about passing down from the generations, and no one is Simone Biles. But I thought that had a little bit of Simone Biles feel to it. You? you know, 
Yeah, I, I think so too. And what's really unique about this routine was the dance. And it was just so much fun. And she's not only a crowd pleaser, you know, you kind of look around the Good, crowd and everyone's smiling. I know I, I was sitting here watching and smiling Absolutely. myself. Tim Zemesco, consider what she's been through in the Olympic and World Championship settings. This is different. She can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh, golly. I don't know. I've never been a coach, Tim. I know you have, but that probably is even harder to be the coach when you really have no control over it than the actual athlete. But you can tell happiness when you see it. <laughs> Absolutely. Sure. She told us that her best quality is that she's quick, and she said, I think people think I'm cute. <laughs> I would have to agree. Uh, Reagan Smith. Riley McCusker, she's had a great night. If she can get through what lies ahead in the next rotation, she'll be satisfied and will be relieved. We'll explain. So on a less than beautiful night, Reagan Smith, the favorite is still up there at the top and she's got a nice lead of 1.3. But Riley McCusker knows what's coming up for her is a real acid test on the balance beam and Trinity Thomas in her first competition this big is in third place. Harley did that stuff. It was such breakthrough stuff at the time. Yeah, she was tremendous. A great champion. Well, can Reagan Smith be like a Carly Patterson? She's in first place, and she comes to the end of her first night on the vault, where she can score well. Well, pretty good. You know, she can be better. That's what and you've been she, saying all night. And she will be better on Sunday night. I, I can just about guarantee it. That was that was very good, but her beam was a little bit iffy and her, uh, her uneven bars. But I'll tell you what, she is a force to be reckoned with. Okay, so now Riley McCusker stands next to the balance beam. And I can't imagine how you could be her and not be thinking a little bit of what we're thinking because back at the American Cup, she scared the heck out of everybody. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yep, she just completely misses one foot. And that, I, I said it, I said it then, and I'll, I'll re-say it, could have been catastrophic. She was able, believe it or not, to get up and finish that competition. Boy, how much are you rooting for her to have a great journey here? You are, and you know, that's exactly what exactly what we just did on air, so good thing she's not watching, but that's what you don't want to do, is you do not want to replay this image in your mind over and over again. Clean slate, one skill at a time. She also does these, but she'll do an additional one. They're allowed to do a triple turn like she did, and then she does two times around. And you know, we say we don't like that skill, but she definitely makes it look as beautiful as it can. Now, Yanni Steele, Colorado Aerials, up for exercise. Moments ago, that was the Sosa of Texas Dreams, on vault. Leah Clapper of Team America, on an even bar. Coming up next on ball for Adenoff will be Jordan Child. Oh, and a little mm. bit of a bobble there. She's supposed to connect these two course. elements. So she'll lose that connection bonus as well as a little bit on the wobble. And you know, after that fall at the American Cup and a weak performance for her, she was able to come back really strongly and win an international event in Jesolo, Italy. So she bounced back. Dismount right here. This foot, great. Very nice job, what a day. And this has been Riley's day. All four events, just about as good as we have ever seen her do. 
So she did the same dismount, right? Yes, yeah, she did. She absolutely the, the, the did. Exact same. And just look how beautiful she spot on the first one. She did was a triple twist, and then the second one she just did a double. But just beautiful, every single element, every movement. Here is the dismount. It was that second foot right there. She connects perfectly. Good jump. Double back somersault. Spots the ground one step backwards, but one huge leap forward in her confidence and for her career from night one of these PNG championships. You know, and that's exactly, Tim, what she needs. She just needed a night to hit Ready? all four events to have that confidence. Okay, Reagan Smith, the leader, 14.4. That should keep her there, but McCusker's right with her. So were you nervous at all, either of you two, when she got to that point? <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> you, Nastia? Not really, because things like that, of course they happen, and nobody's a robot, we're all humans, but at the same time, they don't typically happen more than once. And never say never, that can obviously happen again, but I think you kind of learn your lesson and you're a little bit more cautious. 14.4, this will be pretty close at the end of night one. We've got something to talk about heading into Sunday. And all week, as you know, what was the key for you to handle that and grab this first night lead? Um, I just had a goal in my mind and just to be calm and do my thing I usually do and um, just be happy here that I'm here and have a wonderful time. You had a little bit of a battle on the beam. What did you tell yourself to settle yourself down and find your rhythm again? Um, well, always things happen. So you have to be prepared for whatever, right? Um, like in practice and competition, that's why that's what practice is for, right? Um, so I just um, like shook it off in my mind, and I was like, okay, I can do this. I have still two more skills that I can redeem myself for. So I know those other two skills. So this is your second senior nationals, but how different is this experience here compared to last year with all of that pressure of the Olympics? Um, it's a lot different. Um, there's not Allie or Simone or Lori and Gabby and um, Michaela and um, Maddie. And it's just different because um, there's a group, whole different group of girls. And um, um, it's kind of nice, like, having a new generation, you know, coming up. So um, um, I think it's a little less pressure, but I am still kind of feel like it's the same because I had no idea what was going to happen, like, uh, last year. So um, I'm just thinking of it just like as a normal year and no, like, added pressure, no less pressure. Um, I'm just here to do my thing. Well, you're like the grizzly veteran now, right? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right, well, good luck on night two. Thanks. Al? That was priceless. We'll have more from Anaheim, California. And again, Simone Biles' epic performance that clinched it all. A floor exercise performance to remember at the Olympic Games, which is where Reagan wants to go. In February 2018, the world's best athletes compete on the world's biggest stage. The Winter Olympics from Pyeongchang, Korea. In February, it comes to the networks of NBC Universal. We had some special guests here tonight. Two of figure skating stars, Ashley Wagner, a world champion and an Olympian. Adam Rippon, a national champion. And I'm sure they have great expectations for February. We'll all be watching. Meanwhile, the final results here at the top spot is pretty much what everyone thought would happen. Reagan Smith expected to be the first ever national champion here on Sunday, but you always have to seal the deal. Riley McCusker, she really turned things around and had a fantastic night in second place, and then Jordan Childs in third. It's got to be a little bit of a dreamy feeling for Riley McCusker. Let's see if that's true. Here's Andrea Joyce. Well, Al, we saw Riley struggling in training sessions all week long. We've talked about your injuries. How were you able to turn it around? You know, I think it's just like a switch, and I um, go into like a really competitive mode, and I just think about my routines one piece at a time, and that's how I turn around. But with everything that you've been through the last couple of months, I mean, how important was it for you psychologically to really get out there and do well? I mean, I'm just so proud of myself because... I didn't even know if I was going to be here, like, with all those injuries I had. So I'm so proud of myself. Like, I feel like I've come so long, and just I'm proud of how I did tonight. And how do you take this momentum into night two? What do you, what's the most important thing for you to do? Just think one routine at a time, see the equipment, and that's all I need to do. Just right. do it again. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Al? Okay, we'll take a break when we come back. That unbelievable Simone Biles performance. She wasn't competing tonight, but he, she was here watching. That's for certain. 
how good she was. She went so high. Oh, my God. The most difficult stuff being done in the world, and she does it so effortlessly. I am a gymnastics junkie, a fan, and selfishly, I want to see her back. She's awesome. That feeling that she had is one you had. You know, your feet hit the, the, the cushion, and you know that, that that's it. And, yeah. and, and all the work comes out in that in one big breath. It really does, and I think just even just sitting here watching, as you said, I, I had goosebumps watching it and knowing exactly what was going to happen. <laughs> but that moment, the moment that your feet hit the floor on your final tumbling pass, knowing all you need to do is just land on your feet, and your life is going to change in a blink of an eye. It's incredible. That was worth it. Now, Reagan Smith, she's in good shape here, right? No, she absolutely is. She can be much better. You compare her routines to that right there, and it's not at the same level, but she is a gamer, and I believe she'll come back on Sunday and be magnificent. It doesn't have to be there tonight or Sunday. It has to be there in three years. Coming up next, it's Truck Tech. The 2017 P&G Gymnastics Championships continues tomorrow with day two of the senior men's competition. Coverage begins at 9 Eastern right here on NBCSN. It'll be repeated on Sunday night and we will have the women's championship on NBC. For our entire NBC sports crew, I'm Al Troutwick with Nastia Lucan, Tim Daggett, and Andrea Joyce. Good night from Anaheim, California. To get your kids to eat fruit every day, show them a fun, silly way to do it. Take an orange. Not only does it give them their daily dose of vitamin C, it can also provide their daily dose of fun. The more you know. Uh, it started as a BLT, but uh, we ran out of L and T, so uh, <laughs> I'm just making a BM. <laughs> it's a bacon and mayonnaise. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna go to Marshall's later and get us new suits for the spa this weekend. I already have my Jets one. It's very comfortable. I like it. Oh. Now our first look at Riley McCusker. She had a horrific fall at the American Cup and then really put it together night one here at the Nationals. Yeah, she has been up and down though. The American Cup, it was not good. She went to Italy with Team USA, was the top all-round finisher at the secret, or excuse me, the US Classic just a few weeks ago, really rough there as well, but was fantastic here on bars night one. Really low on that handstand, was supposed to connect it to this skill right here. Another bunch of big releases coming up. Beautiful release. And another one right here. In combination, transitions to the low. Well, this is impressive because not only is she hitting this routine, but she's hitting it after she struggled right at the beginning. And just the dismount left. Pretty darn good. So we've got a gold, silver, and a bronze story today. We've got the national championship, and then we've got four spots, only four, to go to the world championships. And yeah, that won't be decided here tonight. They'll go off to a final selection camp at the training center, where that team will be, of course, decided. But everything really counts here as well. And this is right at the top of the routine. This should finish exactly in the handstand right there. Her hand comes down. That's close to five tenths off of an angle deduction. And then miss that next connection going into it where she'll lose a little bit of bonus. Supposed to connect those two skills. 
But you know, she really struggled in training to her earlier on in the week, especially on this skill. Had a kind of a scary fall, but not today. Beautiful. Dismount chest was a little bit low. But again, what a great start for Riley. Yeah, I'll tell you, I was uh, 10 feet away from her in that training session, and she landed in a heap. And, uh, you know, everybody took a deep breath, and her coach, Maggie Haney, went up to her and said, you okay? <laughs> and she got a yes, but it was a little scary. Great finish, though, for her with that routine. And she's just, again, has had injury after injury. And, and I think she's just, you know, talking to her and her coach and not quite ready. She just needs a little bit more time, more training, more numbers to get more consistent and confident. She had a 14.55 in night one. On floor exercise, Reagan Smith is in good shape, 14.35. And McCusker a tenth better than that. But because of the deductions which you guys talked about, it's a cautionary, 14.45. On floor exercise, Reagan Smith is in good shape, 14.35. And McCusker a tenth better than that. But because of the deductions which you guys talked about, it's a cautionary 14.45. 14 In 2018, the world's best athletes compete on the world's biggest stage. The Winter Olympics coming in February to the networks of NBC Universal. Love that music. Young Chung, Korea. There's your leader, Reagan Smith. She leads by 1.2, so she lost a tenth in the first rotation. Let's say she's a lock for the World Championships in October. That leaves three spots other than her. How many women here tonight are in play for those three, would you say? I think there's probably seven. Yeah, I, I agree. But we counted about six or seven. And, um, you know, again, it's not only this competition. They will go to a final selection uh, camp at the training center and they'll have to compete there again. So what the selection committee is really looking for is that consistency all the way around, not just to do well at one competition. But we saw Riley McCusker there. We saw Jordan Childs. They are certainly in the conversation at this point. Riley McCusker, you know, before the meet began, day one, I would say a lot of people had a lot of doubts. But, uh, you know, not only did she rock day one, but I can't overemphasize how important I believe it was that she struggled at the beginning of bars and was able to come back and, and really do a phenomenal routine after that. Showed a lot of character. McCusker. We last saw her in the American Cup, which is the most prestigious annual event in gymnastics on American soil. And she scared the bejesus out of everybody oh. when that happened. In the end, she was okay. But here at the National Championships, she did the very same dismount, which shows a lot of guts. And the results were undeniably better. Absolutely. Great connection with both feet on the beam. For more on her journey with her coach, let's go to Andrea. Well, Al, as you guys mentioned, Riley had such a rough week in training. I spoke to her coach, Maggie Haney, today, and she said there were plenty of tears on both sides all week long. They have not had that many competitions together, so they are still trying to figure out their relationship. Maggie asked Riley, what do you need from me? Now, with Lori Hernandez, it was all about distracting her from the competition, talking about somebody's shoes or nail color. For Riley, she's just learning how to push her buttons. She knows it's about simplifying everything. Maggie told me that her job now is to make sure that Riley doesn't overthink the competition, which is what happened at American Cup. And as we saw, that was a disaster. She was totally overwhelmed. It's a work in progress, Al, but Maggie thinks it's really working in the right direction. And she's back on that very same beam. This is very popular in women's gymnastics right now. There's the triple turn, and she'll do another one with two revolutions. That's no, not my favorite skill, but the way Riley does it, she really does make it look beautiful. 
Yeah, about as, as good as it can be done. Not just that skill, but every single movement she does, just every pose, every step, and every skill has beautiful execution. Really nice. She's capable of doing another layout step out there. She has kind of pulled back to be a little bit more consistent. I think great decision. Here we go. Excellent. Really good. Really confident. Exactly what they are looking for. All day long in training and has struggled a little bit. Pulling it through in competition, but so far here in, here in Anaheim, she has been so consistent and so confident. Good for them. So this may not look hard. Push the oh come on. Push the coffee table out of the way and try to do that in your living room just one time around. And just imagine what it would feel like on four inches of equipment. And here's that dismount again. No issues today. Difficult dismount, a combination, two back handsprings into a tuck double back. You look for her chest up on the landing. One step back. Talk about the relationship between coach and pupil. Yours was different because yours was, was your dad. Of course, but it really becomes you end up spending more time with your coach than your actual parents. And so these coaches get to know you so well. And as we talk about what works more for you as an athlete, you know, one thing works for somebody and might not work for the other person. So it really is about that experience and getting more, especially for Riley, getting more competitions under her belt. But Maggie has done a tremendous job with Riley, especially since that American Cup competition. Coming back, had a great showing at the Italy competition a few weeks after that, then went through some injuries. It's easy to imagine the relationship. It has to reach common ground. There's going to be tension. There's probably going to be disagreements. Of course, first of all, Riley McCusker does well. One point off in deduction. That may sound like a lot, but that is really great. 14.5. Dick, your landing, especially on such a difficult vault like that, and really just making it to your feet. 1.7 deduction, so that's, that's a cautionary score. Back to Reagan Smith. That's a green to go score. 14.35. So she only has two more rotations to go to win this national championship. Riley McCusker into the picture here, looking toward a big future. She's got to stay in the moment. Here in Anaheim, Riley McCusker is forcing the issue. What was once a 1.3 lead for Reagan Smith, looking for her first national title, is now down to a still formidable but lower 1.05. Jordan Childs is in third. Back for the third rotation after this. Watching these nationals having Simone withdrawal. What is it like for you, though, to be on the sidelines? Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. It is a little bit weird and awkward for me because I've been competing in this meet for like six years now, so it's like, uh, but I'm happy that I'm not here tonight. <laughs> You've won the last four, by the way. So you said in Rio over and over and over, my main mission is to enjoy the moment. One year later, as you look back, what did you enjoy most? Oh my gosh, I think spending time with friends, family, doing things that I wouldn't be able to do while I was training and just taking the time off, find myself and like doing fun things. Not being the queen with all that weight around your neck? <laughs> yes, yes, it's a lot easier, but it's, yeah. <laughs> so you told me the other day that you're back in the gym. 
Where are you? How's that going? And can you see yourself back here soon on the competition floor? Um, I don't have a set date on which competition I'm going to return to. I do want to turn to competing because I love it so much. But um, the beginning is, is uh, it's okay. You said you thought you were a little weak. I am weak. I swear. Like, it's hard. Or it's harder than I thought, at least. <laughs> Finally, your teammate, Allie, made some comments about the handling of the sexual abuse allegations. Your thoughts? Yes. Well, I think we all support, the Final Five, all support what Allie is doing. All right. Thank you so much, Simone. Good luck back in the gym, and I know you got a lot of folks cheering for you to get back out there. Thank you so much. All right. Al? Okay. A lot to think about there. Shani Adams score a 13.2. We talked earlier about what Allie Raceman has said, and we gave you USA Gymnastics' response. You were part of USA Gymnastics. What do you think about this? Well, <laughs> to be completely honest, I, I had a different experience with USA Gymnastics and had nothing but um, an incredible career. And, um, you know, unfortunately, don't have that same experience. But, you know, they definitely have a huge platform. So hopefully they'll take that platform and, and put it to good use. We just want what's best for all of the athletes. Everybody, I believe, on the floor wants that. And a lot of changes have been made and are being implemented. And I think they're going to help. Thursdays this fall, the 16-time Emmy winner is back as part of a big new night of comedy. Will and Grace returns Thursdays this fall on NBC. To remember, and here she is, four-time Olympic medalist. Nastia, what were you thinking with that hug? <laughs> you know, it was such an amazing experience to be able to go into the Olympic Games together. We were actually roommates, um, obviously remain the best of friends, but we were the first American duo to do that and go one, two, and um, the Beijing Olympics were just incredible. Riley McCusker is on floor. Trying to take advantage of that. Scored a 13.9 in day one on floor exercise. Only one foot, only one tenth. You know, that, that's not terrible for Riley. Yes, not the routine she was hoping to do, maybe expected to do. But again, coming off these injuries, not having that time to really train and get those numbers in. She just needs some more training and, and more routines with consistency. Riley McCusker does not take advantage of Reagan Smith's low score because she gets two points in deductions and gets a 13.2. So Reagan Smith still has a formidable lead heading into the fourth and final rotation that could give her the national championship.
Reagan Smith, another great gymnast from Texas. She has increased her lead to 1.95. The balance beam is the final thing that stands in her way to a national championship in Anaheim, California. Back after this on NBC. Well, there's a gold medal row. That is the final five. Gabby Douglas, Ali Raisman, Madison Toshin, Simone Biles, and Lori Hernandez supporting the next group of gymnasts. They're all taking the year off. We'll see what the future brings. Simone Biles has told us she is back in the gym. Doesn't feel strong yet. Meanwhile, the Marta Caroli era is over. That man is now running the show, Valeri Lukin. And Nasty, of course, he's your dad. How do you balance that one out? <laughs> he is, but you know, that's kind of the way my life has always been. Once, when I was competing on that competition floor in the gym, he was just my coach. When we went home, he was just my dad. So this isn't really unusual for me because when I look out on, in the arena on the competition floor and see him, he's just the head coach. The only difference is we might leave this arena tonight and go to dinner together as a family. How come I never get invited? <laughs> <laughs> Got to be nice, Tim. <laughs> well, meanwhile, the standings include a big lead for Reagan Smith. But the interesting thing, that's a really big lead. I mean, something really, really bad would have to happen. Anyway, McCusker is in second place. She might be a little vulnerable with Frazier and Childs both tied. So that means there's two chances to maybe catch her. Yeah. Anyway, it's all going to develop in the fourth rotation. Yeah. Mars Frazier actually has over a point in potential score ahead of Riley McCusker. Riley's going to ball where she is watering down. It has a maximum of 14.4, and Mars, as I said, has a maximum of 15.5. Well, you saw that deep breath from McCusker. So much tension. The end in sight. Boy, not too many of us were thinking silver. Here's Jordan Childs on the balance beam where a lot can go wrong. We've seen that for years. She's in a tie for third. So if she wants to challenge the silver medal of McCusker, she has got to nail this. Coming up next on Ball for Oasis will be Jake Carey. Coming up next on the Eagle Bars for 52.80 will be Alona. Oh boy. Oh, oh my. Cannot believe what she just did there. <laughs> and she, she can't believe what she just did there either. That was all improvisation. She's just spinning. And it almost looked like she couldn't even stop herself. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking around at the coaches on the floor and some of the other athletes, and they're all just blown away. <laughs> She was supposed to stay down low the entire time. Well, after Kind of put that beside her. Great beam routine so far. Just the dismount right here. Nice double pike and what a landing. Well, let's check out these reactions. I think I heard her say I have no idea what happened. No, I, I'm sure she doesn't. <laughs> because she's supposed to stay in this position right here the whole time. She gets off balance. She stands up and she's just... She keeps turning that she didn't come off the bench. If someone tried to replicate that, a million times they wouldn't be able to pull that off. <laughs> like I said, all the coaches on the floor just mesmerized. You know, I don't even know if she's ever done that actually trying to do it, just a triple turn like that. Maybe she has, but that was, um... Jordan Childs in a tie in third. Okay. I think the judges were perplexed as to what to do for that. And you know what? They had to come up with a value for that element. And I'm not sure. She thought she only did three total turns. 
I'm not sure if she did four. I believe she did actually <laughs> do four. Okay, so she comes out of that all right. Meanwhile, Carrie, first vault, 14.4. Second vault, 14.35. And this is Riley McCusker's last go at it. She's on the vault trying to clinch her silver medal. You know, she's going to do a little bit of a easier vault than what we've seen from some of the other competitors. But very clean, beautiful body position in the air, gets a lot of height. So really, she just wants to try to really get that landing and try to get as close as sticking it to possible. She needs a... She needs better than a 13.6 to stay in that silver medal spot. And that would be really hard because this, like I said, this vault has a maximum score of 14.4. She's, she's capable. Wow. She this, does, is, this is going to be close. Yeah. She's got she's to do what she usually does with great form, but then she's got to nail the landing. And it was pretty good. It was, it was very pretty good. good. And now it's, it's really up to the judges because we've seen them all weekend long. Sometimes they're a little bit more strict, sometimes not as much. But the thing that she has going for her is that beautiful body position in the air. Shenikova gets knocked 12.8. But right now, what is the number four McCusker? We'll have that after this as we head to the finish line in the P&G Gymnastics Championships. All night long, Riley McCusker has been in second place, and now she's not. The vault she needed was better than a 13.8, and she gets a 13.4. She's now in third. Jordan Childs is in second. And coming up in a moment, Marzetta Frazier, who could knock McCusker off the podium. But now to the leader, Reagan Smith. I remember saying it so many times, maybe for Simone Biles. Okay, maybe not her best night, but she's still crushing the field. Uh, absolutely, and she basically, if she's c remotely clean, she is going to win a national title. And, you know, I say it every time at this point. You know, there are a lot of things you dream of when you're a little gymnast. You want to go to the Olympics, win a gold medal, go to a world championships, win an American Cup, but you also want to be able to say absolutely that I am the U.S. national all-around champion, and that is right within her grasp. Big tumbling combination here. Gorgeous. Just beautiful, but coming up right here, that same skill we saw from Morgan Hurd, standing back with a full twist. Woo! Wow, her foot completely slipped off the beam, but she was able to hold it on. Just rock solid so far. One of the ways Reagan kept herself relevant was balance beam in the 2016 conversation. If she gets through this, she is the national champion right there, Reagan Smith. American Cup, check. National Championship, check. <laughs> Montreal, here she comes. <laughs> one leg, you gotta do one. That was like in the two today. You get it, baby. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Reagan. It was awesome. Guys, we're done. I know, I know, I know. It's all done. Thank you. Did you still come out? Yeah. Did you still? You got it. All right, what's with the one leg landings, though? <laughs> Last bit of drama, and it involves this woman from the Parkettes, Marzetta Frazier. If she can somehow pass Riley McCusker, she could go home with a bronze medal. Big deal. She needs better than a 14.0. We have seen people struggle on this element, and that got a little funky, too. 
And again, there's there's very few people that can just do that skill so well. Nice. So that 14.2 has been achieved by a number of gymnasts here tonight. Just mm. seems a little shaky. I have to say, ending on the balance beam on the second day of competition is always a little more nerve-wracking. Just the dismount. Mm. Oh boy. Now this is gonna be tough because there were just a few too many minor mistakes throughout that routine. And the judges are going to be looking at every single element. Yeah, I don't think that she's gonna do that. I think that it's going to stay exactly the way it is now for the podium. But I'll tell you what though, she still did herself a major solid here at these championships. Okay, so here's the deal. Better than a 4.0 to move into third. Better than a 14.2 to move into second. She just said to Donna Strauss, I love you. <laughs> Very nice young lady. All of these kids are so, you know, such quality individuals. They're eye to eye, but Reagan's on that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We might be tied. Now, now we're fine. I know. <laughs> Jordan said we might be tied. <laughs> Marzetta said, "Is that bad?" Here we go. She didn't do it. And she gets a 13.25, and she's going to miss by a fair margin, almost a point. So it's Jordan Childs in second to Reagan Smith, and then McCusker is going to get the bronze for third. Well, there was a time tonight when I, I'm not sure Jordan Childs was thinking about a medal here. Yeah, well, after she sat her ball down, I'm sure she was very disappointed, but she's runner-up. But once again, the bulk or a, a number of these girls will travel back to Houston, Texas when we get a little closer to the World Championships that begin the beginning of October. So Reagan Smith, that'll clinch this national championship with ease. 15.05 with just over a point in deductions. It almost looks like a 15 had gone into extinction in gymnastics. But that was great. So we have now. This year, Reagan said that she wanted to kick butt in 2017. You won the American Cup, and now you're standing here with your first national championship. Can you describe what this moment is like? Um, it feels amazing just to um, feel like all my hard work has paid off. Um, it feels amazing to be here and competing with all these girls. You were the favorite, the heavy favorite. You were in the headlines all week. Some people wilt under that spotlight. Why does that bring out the best in you? Um, it just makes me feel like have a great energy and I love the crowd so and I love like intentions so it makes me feel like 
so special and yeah. Well, your, your coach told me, Kim told me that she thought she was going to have to get the hook to take you off the floor because you were soaking up the crowd so much. Yeah, that was a really fun moment to be in. All right, well, we expect we'll see you at World, so congratulations. Thank you so much, Al. Well, that's what you're supposed to do if you can through the pressure. Have fun. It looked like Reagan Smith did that. This is why I say that hip hop has done more damage to young African Americans than racism in recent years. I never bet my fucking life. This is my heritage, child. I'm inheriting money and power. The maker. I'm. I got. I got. I got. I got loyalty. Got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece. Got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. Nice getaway, sticks. <laughs> So, uh, you're a pet doctor. At least that's what the Google says. <laughs> Isn't Pops a hoot? Did you just say Pops? Is this your dad? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank goodness. No, I'm her granddad. <laughs> I was gonna bow out of game night, not anymore. All jeans on sale, up to 50% off, no time to spare. Finally, my own space. It looks dreamy. And I didn't blow my budget. I found it all at Ross. Organized. And I saved so much. Genius. <laughs> See, you got to go to Ross. We took things up with our new signature sriracha sandwich. It's topped with crispy onions, fresh baby spinach, and kale. Then we took it up some more with an exclusive Sriracha Mac sauce. Now at McDonald's for a limited time. Red Gertz? Sorry, I was eating a Milky Way. Play with me. It's balanced. It's easy drinking. It's refreshing. If you've got the time, it's what American Lager was born to be. Welcome the beer, to the High Life. Miller beer. You've got popcorn all over your lap. <laughs> your information, I was not lotioning. I try to keep telling myself to be fearless. A new champion, 17 years of age, Karen Chan. When I'm out there on the ice, I have to be magical. The 
2017 P&G Gymnastics Championships have been brought to you by Pantene. Strong is beautiful. Now ride awaits. All right, the final results, it was a blowout in the end. Reagan Smith wins by 3.4. Jordan Childs, remember she sat down in the vault and she's going to get a silver medal in a moment. Riley McCusker hangs on to the bronze medal. Trinity Thomas needed a 14.5. She got a 14.2, so it was close, but it was three tenths that put her off the podium. Now, the question is, how does this world championship puzzle get put together? Yeah, well, that young lady is, without a doubt, going to make that team unless she's injured, you know, so, but th there were a lot of athletes that showed themselves and showed that they can contribute and are medal contenders. And when you think about it, Nastia, the reason they're only four going, the United States has been so dominantly good that the other countries, for the most part, can't keep up with that depth. <laughs> Yeah, and the year after the Olympic Games, it's always just an individual world championship, so no team competition. But there will be that all-around finals, just like super important. Reagan has a chance to get an all-around medal, potentially a gold. So there's a lot at stake in a few weeks. 0.65 in this competition, but she wins it by 3.4. Reagan Smith, congratulations. Remember, the World Championships in October from Montreal can be seen on the NBC networks. Coming up next on NBC, it's American Ninja Warrior. For our entire NBC sports crew here in Anaheim, California, I'm Al Troutwick for Tim Daggett, Nastia Lukin, Andrea Joyce, Reagan Smith, Riley McCusker, Jordan Childs, your medalists here in California at the Honda Center. Phone? You're lying! I need you to do this for me. It's just a two minute video. It won't hurt you. Open the door! Julia! I need you to help me! Hold up, Dick! We've all watched it! To get your kids to eat fruit every day, show them a fun, silly way to do it. Take an orange. Not only does it give them their daily dose of vitamin C, it can also provide their daily dose of fun. The more you know.